Hey there, it's Square Peg, and I'm going to talk to you about the Zero Mile Marker tent. It's the um, two person tent. This is the free tent that you get when you um, spend $30 with them. I've had it through some rain and very high winds and through it all <clears throat> through it all it has held up very well. It is lightweight at about three pounds. I added some heavier duty um, stakes because the little tiny wire ones these one here don't really cut it. You know, except to really, except just to anchor the tent down initially. So I moved to these ones here, and they work a lot better. So it's light. You know, it's waterproof, and part of that is I um I sprayed it all over with a um, waterproof coating. So I extra waterproofed it and seam sealed it. As you can see. As I was seam sealing, it blew into some dirt, so some dirt is permanently affixed to it. So it stood its first rain, it stood its first hard wind. Okay, all good so far. Cons. What I did not like about it is I am five foot ten inches and and I cannot lay down in this tent without laying in it diagonally. I, if I lay down and it this tent is like six foot, I am touching both ends. So with my feet touching because it slopes in so much. Plus it just, the base is like right about six feet. So I have to lay in it diagonally. And since it's just me, that's not a big problem. But that would definitely be a problem if there was another person trying to sleep in there with me. It just would just be touching the ends of the tent. And that'd be a bad thing. The rain fly works pretty good. And I um, sleep a lot of times with, it has a, um, a screen mesh in it. So I'll, I'll just close the screen door if I'm not expecting any rain. And it kept, it did pretty well down into the, um, the 40s. So it got pretty chilly up here for Texas. So what I did, what I noticed is, is um, if it's raining, there's no really no real protection from the rain to get in and out. Rain can just, if it's blowing at all, the rain is just going to blow it in. And um, and that's another negative for it. That the little awning there doesn't really protect you too much. You know, in, in, in any kind of rain, blowing wind. So what I did was I came up with, I had a leftover Big Agnes Fly Creek 3 um, footprint that I had left over. And so I set up my own little, um, little tarp situation here where it covers the door a little bit better where I can get in and out under some, and not have rain directly into the tent as much as if I was didn't have it so it seems to work pretty well to give me some shelter while I'm climbing in and out of the tent so overall for spending $30 you know the zero zero mile marker tent handles itself pretty good I have no qualms about taking it out you know and doing primitive camping with it don't know if I'd do a through hike with it because three, three pounds is a bit heavy for a through hike Unless you get um, two people, but that have to be short people. You know, maybe five, 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 six. So, you know, that, that's not really short, but, you know, compared to me, that's a little bit shorter than I am. You have to be about five, five, or five, six to be comfortable in this tent. And I am here with the beautiful Lost Maples. State natural area.
I've been out here for almost a week now. I got here Sunday and it is Friday. And I've just been enjoying it. It's good to be back out camping again. Well, it's Square Peg. Hope you enjoy my review of the Zero Mile Mark tent. Hope to see you out on the trail. Out of a star system, I give this thing four stars.